All right, folks, it's July 14, 2024, and we're going to be talking about what just took place over the past 24 hours. Truly incredible. A shot heard around the world is an understatement, right? This is going to be one of the defining moments of American history, and we just got to watch it. Now, thank God President Trump is alive. He has survived. And what we see is a fight, a spirit that even in moments when he knew that might be it, what did he do? He raised that fist and he said, let's fight. Uh, truly powerful and incredible as an American. I want to hear how you guys reacted. For me, it was complete shock and awe. When I saw it on my phone, uh, I had to pull over. I was in the middle of doing a donation. We were donating some clothes. And uh, I'm in the donation line and I see it come across my screen and hop out, do my donations. I pull over real quick and I couldn't believe it. I mean... Tears brought to my eyes for what is taking place in this country and the fact that our enemy, we've been talking about them, these people are sick, the, the lengths that they are willing to go to get their way, it's truly evil. All we've ever wanted was a level playing field, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness on a level playing field is my program, my mantra, what I'm sticking to, and what I'm fighting for, and whether you agree with President Trump or not, I think that's what we all want as Americans, is just that opportunity that we all enjoy here in this country. To see our country come to this is very sad, um, very disturbing. But the good news is, the good news that will come from this is that this is actually a moment that I think will unite our country. I'm going to show you some of that. In this episode, though, as you see, I titled it, The Trump and XRP Prophecy. I'm going to show you guys one of the prophets, which you guys can discount it completely. If that's not your deal, that's fine. I just find it rather interesting that we have some guy who predicted the events that unfolded yesterday pretty much to a T. And then, crazy enough, he's also predicting that XRP is going to be part of the new financial system. So, hey, everybody already calls us crazy. So what the heck do we got to lose at this point? Let's get into it. So to get started here, President Trump did arrive in New Jersey hours after the situation. You can see him coming down the steps here. <clears throat> now, it was rumored that he was going to go attend the UFC fight last night, which would have been pretty epic, uh, but that looks like that did not happen. So President Trump arriving in New Jersey, walking down the steps, looking like he's actually in really good shape. So... We got very lucky. I'm starting to see a sentiment coming out from people on the left, people in the middle, people that were against Trump. And Scott Moorfield sharing his personal story. Woke up thinking about this and I'm still stunned. I've been as big of a Trump critic as anyone else on the right over the past couple years. See, this is someone on the right, uh, conservative, who's been against Trump and a big critic. But what happened last night, Trump's brave, defiant reaction, and especially the stunning photos that captured it, stirred something in me that I never knew was there. Somehow, I want to run through a wall for someone I worked against the entire primary cycle. If this didn't change the world, it certainly changed me. And there's the image seen around the world right there. President Trump, American flag, fist raised in the air. So more on that here in a second. I wanted to show you yesterday we saw the XRP pumped up over 20% in 24 hours. So it was just a crazy day to start off, right? In the XRP community, we're already losing our minds. XRP's pumping. It's the one year anniversary of XRP not being a security. And I want to show you on the charts because a lot of people already missed out on a massive move for XRP just yesterday. Look at this thing. From the lows that we had on July 4th of 38 cents to this pump up to 56 cents, you're looking at nearly 50% pump. So you didn't have to buy the low, you didn't have to sell the top to have 20, 30, 40%, 50% potential gains just since July 4th. And this is why I say I think it's going to be a big mistake for those that are sleeping on XRP. And you already got folks saying that XRP is dumping. It's not dumping. Okay, we just had a massive run, a little bit of a cooling off period back down to 52 and a half cents. That's not dumping. But once again, 
this has now been completely overshadowed by what took place with Trump. But nonetheless, uh, what I wanted to share with you guys is that yesterday, before everything that took place with Trump, there was an account, Crypto Bitlord, he's a relatively big crypto account, who did a space on XRP and has just started putting out all this bullish tweets on XRP. And after he held this space, I was in vet space and everybody was kind of chatting in their reaction to, you know, this space. And, and we talked about how basically now it's starting to come popular. It's becoming trend, uh, trendy once again to be in favor of XRP and to support XRP. And I was in vet space and I, I said, yeah, like we're going to see a lot more of this. We're going to see a lot more people come forward. A lot more people going to declare themselves supreme leader of the XRP army, going to say that they've always supported XRP, even though upon some of their own admissions, a lot of these people have left XRP and now they're coming back, right? A lot of these people uh, come into XRP, they're fair weather, uh, they're fair weather fans of XRP, right? And so we're starting to see this And Mario Nafal's roundtable posted this this morning, XRP ready to moon. Ripple versus SEC showdown. Yo, the Ripple versus SEC saga is hitting its final boss level. XRP could be the key to unlocking the next crypto bull run. Now, hold up. We better calm down here. Somebody better tell him to pipe down a little bit. Because that's a little too bullish to be talking about XRP in such a way, right? And this is what we've been talking about for so long, right? XRP could be the key to unlocking the next crypto bull run? Uh-oh, people forget that it took that two spot. People forget that it took that one spot. That's right, for a brief moment in time, it actually surpassed Bitcoin too. Ripple winning means clear regulations, no more FUD, and a tidal wave of new crypto investors. Well, hold up here. Uh, XRP is going to have clarity. We will not have regulations. There still will be fu uh, FUD, but I do believe that they, it will bring a tidal wave of new crypto investors. But what are these crypto investors going to be looking at? projects that don't have clarity or projects that are completely in the clear with utilities added at the layer one protocol level completely decentralized xrp already pumped and the whole market's holding its breath for the verdict are we about to see a new all-time high for xrp in a crypto renaissance hodl tight so it's become popular to support xrp once again and remember what what actually was the top of the 2017-2018 bull run was CNBC showing you how to buy the Ripple coin. That was the top, right? So by the time Jim Cramer's telling us this cycle that it's time to buy XRP and he's showing us on Mad Money to buy XRP, right? That's going to be the top. Once again, this is starting now with little influencers on X. You got Mario Nafal who started to put out some bullish stuff for XRP. And as I've been saying, this is the year where we go viral, where the spotlight shines down on XRP like never before. When we already have so much momentum behind the cryptocurrency space with the ETFs and all the other catalysts that we talk about, right? But now the spotlight shines on XRP. We got a documentary. I'm part of that documentary. Well, hopefully they feature. Uh, they did my interview. They, I've been in a couple trailers. We'll see if I make the final cut. And I, you know, find all of this interesting, the timing of all this, as XRP bounces off a support level that goes back three years. The technicals on XRP are just fantastic. The fact that we've come back down to 52 doesn't take anything out. We need to hold this level. I hope that we do. And uh, as we saw the crypto markets after the event that took place yesterday, Bitcoin actually pumped up uh, basically above 59, upwards of 60,000. So Bitcoin uh, pumped up to 60,000 based off the events of yesterday. And as I've been saying, as I've been prophesizing, you know, we're going to see a Trump pump and it's going to be pretty dang glorious. But before we get there, I want to share this. This is incredible. Take it for what it's worth. If it's not worth anything to you, if you don't believe in this, that's fine. For many in my community, I know that you guys found out about XRP by listening to Profits. A lot of you guys came to my channel because I was interviewed by some of these guys. And so, take it for what it's worth. I'm just going to play this clip. It is truly incredible how spot on this prophecy was. Um, I'm trying to figure I don't know what this guy's name is. But this was posted to YouTube more than three months ago. Take a listen. 
All throughout America, all throughout, and I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, This bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And um, then I saw people interceding when he and I see him. I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great uh the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer. Great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff. But there would be a stop to it. And there things would start to, to, to break free, come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting. And Now, it's pretty incredible. You know, he's able to predict this and many people have been predicting this that trump was going to get you know some sort of deal like this right so many predictions came through but the fact of you know the way that he described the prophecy of what he saw pretty incredible now he's not the only one though to actually share prophecies of xrp as well right and so many in the spiritual community uh or, or you know many people in the xrp community who are spiritual right have found this alignment, like something that brought us to XRP, right? Truly is special what, what all has brought us together. This uh, prophet, though, not only did he predict exactly how Trump's uh, event would occur, he also predicted that XRP will play a major role in the coming financial reset. Pay attention. This was shared this morning by the Bearable Bowl. Take a listen. But I'm telling you, it's going to come through certain cryptos. And it's going to come, that's what I hear. And maybe it'll be through something for you for something else, okay? But I'm telling you, I keep seeing um, XRP. And I'm, and I, like I said, I'm not telling you to invest in it. That's on you. Do not say, hey, you told me to invest in it. No, I'm telling you, there's going to be something in my spirit, what I, in my opinion, with XRP in the near future. But I'm telling you. It so. They already call us crazy, so I figured, what the heck, I'm sharing this in today's episode, and the thing that I'm going to be doing is I am going to be praying, and I don't care who you're praying to, I don't care what vibe you're catching, you better get right with somebody, because if it's not clear as day, you know, and for so many people, like myself included, it takes seeing evil firsthand to become a believer. To believe in something, to, to actually get motivated, to find your purpose, to find that clarity. It takes confronting evil head on. And once you see it, you will be a changed man or woman forever. For those of you on this mission, in this fight for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness on a level playing field with me, I want you to please like this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. And I want you to stay tapped in because we are not going anywhere. They can send whatever they want at us and we will continue to fight. We will not stop till we get that level playing field. And we believe that what we've created here in the United States of America is an opportunity worth dying for. You guys let me know in the comments down below. And I hope everybody has a blessed Sunday. More updates to follow. God bless you all. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you want to support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.